Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm here with little Miss Ashley. And I've got another little haul that I wanted to share with everyone. And um, also to let everybody know that I am still kind of under the weather. Um, I did go make an attempt to go into work today, but after being there for approximately an hour, my supervisor goes, nope, you're going back home. So, I came home and convalesced. So, I'm hoping that tomorrow, fingers crossed, that I can be able to go to work and manage through the whole day. So, um, I haven't been coughing quite as badly today. Eh, you got a little hair on your hand. So, but this little girl has been keeping mommy company, snuggling with mommy while I take my little naps and everything. But, um, but yeah, so I just want to make sure that, um, uh, that I am getting the rest that I need, drinking the liquids and stuff so I can be able to get back to work. Well, here's my little haul that I got. And I actually packed everything in this, in this little bag here. So, and a lot of the stuff that I get that um, some of the stuff that I've been getting um, clothes wise has been from Kayla on Facebook um, her um, nursery name is Infinite Dreamborn so you can look her, look her up there um, she sells baby clothes, plus she also paints babies. So, go check her out. And so, this first item here that I got, and I thought it was kind of cute, is this brown tutu skirt. So, there's that. So... I thought that would look cute on her for for photo shoots and stuff. And in fact, it looks like it would look pretty good with the top that she has on right now. So there's that. And then here's um it's a sleeper gown by Burt's Bees. Size zero to nine months. So there's that. And it's got a, like a, I guess it's a, supposed to be like a butterfly or a bee or something. And it's got the built-in mitts. And it's trimmed in gray, same around the neck. And it's got the elastic on the bottom. So, I don't know. I think I might put this on her tonight. But, yeah, I've gotten, um, as I mentioned in my last video, I was working on sorting out the clothes in the closet um, by size. And... Um, and so, so I've got them sorted out. 
Now I'm just waiting for um, uh, the little discs that I have ordered from Amazon that I can write on to indicate the different sizes and also um, the sections for the two different girls. Um, okay, this ended up in my bag. It's a pair of preemie pair of pants. Um, I think what I might do, can't eat for, I might give these to my daughter-in-law for, for Nicholas. I think these are just ended up in, in there. Um, I had one in one of her, um, shows, live shows that she does when she's selling the clothes. Um, at the end, she does, um, like a drawing and I happened to one, so I won a Walmart gift card. So that's what this is. So there's my gift card. And then I got this vintage yellow dress. Looks awfully big. Let's see. I can't remember. Oh yeah, that's right. There was no no tag or anything on it. So I thought I'd give it try it on her. See how it fits on her. Let's see. Put this aside because I'll change her into that one. And then this one is Simply Joys by Carter Zero to Three Months. So I thought that would look really cute on on my little boy. Huh. Yeah, that my boy. Can't forget about my boy. And then here's a little top. It's uh, by Cat and Jack. Zero to three months. Well, yeah, I think that'll look cute on her. And then there's this cute little top, or it could be a, a dress. Oh, it's uh, like a romper. And it's blue, and it's got kind of gold dots, and then the fringy on the bottom might be a, be a little big on her but I don't know it might still be cute and then there's this one and it's little me it's three months it's has the pink lace and then it's like attached like bodysuit onesie and the top is white with the pink dots I thought that would that be that oh yeah that'd be real cute on her real cute real girly girl yeah she my girly girl and then there's this, uh, just a, a white solid onesie and with these cute little red pants with um, the white dots. And then I also got two pacifier clips. Let's 
here's this one. It's a moon and fish. So there's that one. And then <coughs> so I thought that one it has the blue fishes and stuff. That one could be for Conrad. And then there's this one, which is a star. And it has pink rainbows on it. So that could be for the girls. And then I also got this bracelet. So, cause I wanted Ashley, and actually, Ashley, and then the new one could wear that one. Cause that would be, I think that would be a little too big for the little one here, Miss Abigail. So, that is my haul for tonight. And I will probably have some um, some more stuff coming. Um, and um, so, so I think I'm going to go ahead and change her and get her ready for bed. And um, And if you're new to my channel, please um, subscribe and um, make sure you click on the notification bell so that way um, yeah, take, take these socks off and um, that way you're notified whenever I upload any um, any videos and um, and please give my videos thumbs ups. Um, that helps um, my channel. Um, and um, and yeah, and um, share my videos with your friends. Um, and um, and yeah, and stuff. Um, I am. My channel is growing slowly. Um, I'm planning on, um, trying to do more, uh, videos and, um, get more content put out there. Um, so I am working on that. So, um, so yeah. I will be um, doing probably, um, I don't know when yet, um, I will be doing uh, a drink and wet um, video with little Miss Ashley here soon. Um, I'm not sure um, when yet. Let's see, I'm gonna pull this up from the, put this on you from the bottom. Probably be easier to do it with your, because of your arms. And, um, and stuff, and, um, So, um, so yeah, so, um, any, any suggestions or anything that you guys might have of, uh, what you guys, um, would like to see, um, 
or anything that um, I can maybe um, find out for you guys um, or whatever, just um, let me know in the comments. Um, I've been in this community now for um, two years. Um, I'm still learning a lot. And um, so um, so anything that um, you guys can share with me, pass on to me um will be um we this is kind of this is big on you baby girl yeah this is kind of big on you baby girl but that's okay yeah that's okay that's okay because it gives you plenty of room yeah it gives you plenty of room to move around huh baby girl huh baby girl there we go. There we go. Go hi, aunties, uncles, and cousins. Yeah. Yeah. She's such a sweet, sweet girl. She is. Yeah, she's such a sweet girl. Yeah, she's such a sweet baby girl. And she has been such a blessing to me. What, you want your thumb, huh? You want your thumb? She don't always suck her thumb. Once in a while, she might. Huh? You want your thumb back? Huh? You want your thumb back? Huh, baby girl? Huh? There we go. There we go. How's that? Is that better? Yeah. Yeah, there's my girl. That's my girl. But, yeah. So. But, uh. But, yeah. But I got. Still got my little Abigail. And I got Mr. Conrad. And then. Got about another three months. And I will have another one to add to the nursery. And <coughs> and for now, that will complete my nursery. Um, I am not foreseeing adding any more <laughs> to my nursery. I'm not planning on any leaving or any coming after this next one. Um, I think this 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 will do it for me for now. Um, I've got other things that I want to um, focus on. Um, I want to enjoy this hobby, enjoy these babies. I want to get um, going with my crocheting. Um, that's another hobby of mine that I enjoy doing that is also relaxing for me. Um, is that. Um, I enjoy 
my Bible studying, um, doing that. I want to get back to, to getting um, more um, consistent with that as well. And um, so those are my my plans, my goals going forward into the new year is to um, continue with my babies and here in the doll community, but also expand um, into my crocheting and share that with you guys as well. Um, because the stuff that I am crocheting are geared towards the babies. And, um, so that's, um, one area that I want to explore and expand on more. So, um, so yeah. And... I've even have thought about maybe one day, maybe after I retire, maybe taking my hand at maybe even painting either silicone or the vinyl babies, but um, I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to stick to things that I know for sure that I can, um, can do and I can do well. And right now and stuff, that's the crocheting. So, um, so yeah. So, um, this is kind of a short and sweet video. I just had the small haul today and um, still kind of recuperating and hopefully and stuff I can go to work tomorrow and put in a full day's work. <coughs> but we'll just have to wait and see what tomorrow brings and um, we'll go from there. We love you all. Stay safe. Be kind. Love one another. And I just went blank. I'm sorry, guys. I hate that when that happens. I get to start saying something and then I just go blank. But please, just be kind to one another because you never know how long we'll be here. We're here one day, gone the next. And it's just, life is too short. Just love one another. Be kind. We're all family. We're all everything. I just, uh, it's, it's still, I'm still having a little trouble wrapping my head around the fact that we just recently lost a member of our community. Um, I'm still not aware of the circumstances around that loss. Um, as uh, Tasha has mentioned, um, from of uh, Pixie Mom's Reborns, um, give the family time to um, go through what they need, process things, and do things that they need to do, and when they're ready to share, they'll share. Um, exactly what transpired um but um my heart goes out to her family her
her immediate family, her, um, her friends that live there in the same town, um, the people that knew her the best. Um, I didn't really get to know her. Um, I've found her channel, just happened to come across it and started watching her videos. Um, she seemed to be a very kind, loving person and enjoyed the hobby, enjoyed the babies, enjoyed sharing them with us. And it's sad that she's no longer here with us. So with that being said, just be mindful of what you say, how you say things, even though you might not know the person on a very personal one-on-one -on -one basis, doesn't mean that whatever you say or how you react to them, their videos, their babies, whatever, um, has an impact on them. I have been very grateful that all of the comments that I have received um, either on my uh, videos or in person have all been very positive. Um, all of the feedback that I have received have been very, very um, positive. Even from men. I have gotten positive feedback from some men. Um, I had one reaction from a man that uh, was a little freaked uh, when he first saw them, but that's all right and everything. It was, it, he just got a little weirded out a little bit, but that was fine. But I have had um, other men that could understand or sympathize with my reasoning behind having these babies and stuff. So, yeah. So, just be mindful of how you respond to someone. Um, even if you don't think the baby that they like or the particular style of baby or whatever doesn't appeal to you doesn't matter if it makes that person happy that's what matters and I mean there are there has been dolls sculpts and stuff that I've seen that don't appeal to me but I'm more like but that's their baby. They love that baby. They enjoy that baby. That baby brings them happiness. That's what counts. The happiness that they feel when they interact with that baby. When they see that baby. That's what matters. And these are art pieces. And everybody sees art differently. So... As I close, please, please be kind to everyone. Because you never know what will come back to you. I have always been raised that if you're kind to someone else, the kindness will come back to you. So, with that, good night everyone. We love you. From my nursery to yours, have a safe night. We love you, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.